Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I'm here today to share with you some happy mail that I got from Lisa. You hear me talk about my friend Lisa. Lisa lives in Canada in a different province from where I live and we have developed a friendship and I send her journals and she sends me supplies. Look at this. I want to share this with Oopsie because it this is fantastic. I sent her some yarn in this bag. <laughs> Thanks for returning the yarn bag. I definitely use these. Okay, so let's see what Lisa has sent. So, oh my gosh. Black and white is my staple for colors for wardrobe for what have you so this appears to be black and white and oh my god i would like to build up my stock with black and white so look at this these are for my journals oh my gosh vintage receipts so this is definitely going to be used they had different things available in different provinces i definitely would not be able to find this here everything is just so even out of my price range in Value Village and Good Goodwill here in Edmonton, it's just like going to a regular store and, and buying it. Nothing's cheap. And even our our um, our uh, antique stores are crazy, insane. So I'm. If you've watched my videos, you know that I'm going to be participating with the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume Four, and I'm going to be piecing together fabrics and then stitching on them because for me my fabrics are my treasures so look at this all of these little things could be incorporated in my treasure hunt of stitches is what I'm calling it look at that and Lisa knows that I I love pearl cotton and I suggested some colors. And look at this. Just gorgeous. These are from Wonderfill Pearl Cottons in the shades that I like. Ivories, honey, teal or turquoise, light green and corals. So beautiful things. I noticed this out of the bag too when I got it. I'm, I'm going to be... It's a beautiful day outside today. And I'm going to turn on my my little bird bath fountain and um, record some videos that I will post next week when I'm at my son's house dog sitting and cat sitting and just show you how I create my pages and my slit slot binding system and I'm going to be experimenting with stitches and I get lots of videos, oh, sorry, lots of views on my stitching videos. And I don't make too many of them because I don't make money on my stitching videos. And I know it's not about money, but my journals, and I can't complain about my journals. Once I list them, they're just gone. So why well, I'm on a tangent. I'm on headache pills. So <laughs> if I talk like this, it's because my head is all screwed up. Look at this beautiful stuff. So Keep an eye out for some how I put together my my built up pages. Thank you, Lisa. Look at this. I usually don't use ribbons, but I'm going to be using ribbons as stems for my flowers. And are these the same? Look at this. Just look at this. Black and white. That's what I love, my favorite, black and white, and then I accentuate with the with the um, pearl cottons. And not only pearl cottons, I have to show you what I bought at the, uh, it's a fiber yarn wool craft store that I'm going to be using. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so beautiful. And I have... Uh, so four book covers. So it's just for one book needs two covers, another book. So I have two books that I'm going to be creating this journal of stitch. Is that a, yeah, that's the right thing. 
Journal of Stitchery, Treasure Hunt of Stitches is what I'm going to call mine. Black and white. You've given me an idea, Lisa. I'm going to be with my white fabrics that I have, like vintage fabrics I'm going to show you. I'm going to incorporate these little black and white background pieces. And look at this. Just look at this. There appears to be lots of different different fabrics in here. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm, and I'll show you. My next videos are going to be incorporating a whole bunch of... Oh, look at this. Just look at that. Black and white. I love black and white. <laughs> yeah, look at, my, look at my outfit, I'm worried. <laughs> black and white. Yeah, it's a medicine. Okay, there we are. So this, look at how gorgeous that is. Just gorgeous. And look at this. I love scissors. These seem to be, um, I'm going to say sturdier than my other pair that Lisa has sent me. Sturdier meaning I could cut fabric with it, not just threads. I'm going to save this and use that as part of a, not just plastic, but the paper in a journal. So I'm going to put that to the side. Look at these. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's a little bit of oil. Maybe they greased it up. Oh, look at this. Well, that's good. Maybe I just got to work it. Work it a little bit. Love these. Absolutely love these, Lisa. They are so gorgeous. And she wrote me a little note. She says that this little ring will help me with my tension. I I, I discovered knitting. I, cre I taught myself how to knit. My memory is really bad. And the knitting stitches, because it's a sequence of, of four, four repeats, it helps me with my memory. <laughs> Sometimes I stop and I go, uh-oh, I get to one, two, and then I forget. <laughs> oh, well, c'est la vie. At least I can still move. So this is apparently a, well, I'll have to fid fiddle with this off camera. It is a ring that you use for your yarn to help with tension. So maybe, uh, depending on whether I'm knitting, I would use it on this hand maybe. So thank you. I, I don't have one of these, Lisa. So I'm going to fiddle around with this thing and it'll help me with my flicking because I use, uh, I'm a flicker. Apparently this hand is the continental knitting and this is a flicker. So I'm a, or a thrower. I'm, I think that's English version. So I'm going to wear it. Why? Because I'm just that way. I love it. Looks like a little peacock maybe and a peacock tail. So thank you. I will definitely use my ring and I'm going to wear it. So look at this. I think Lisa sent me, well, I know Lisa sent me some of this fabric before. And I'm going to save this for my journals. I'm going to keep, like I said, this black and white. You wait till I show you how I'm going to put this together. May I use some gray? Maybe I'll use gray too. Who knows? Let's just stack it up here. And I, Lisa's knows that I love Battenberg, Battenberg lace. It's hard to come by now. This looks like it may be from a... Um, a table runner, or a tea, uh, sorry, I said the wrong thing, tablecloth. I'm going to show you how I piece my pa pages together with fabrics for my book, my Journal of Stitchery book, my Treasure Hunt of Stitches. And we're going to learn all sorts of stitches following, hopefully I can follow uh, the Roxy prompts. I say Roxy because it's, what is it, um... Rachel and Sarah will be giving the prompts. Look at this. So this is gorgeous. And yes, we're going to be putting together pages. I'm just going to sew things. I'm going to tear them and I'm going to sew them. And I love blues and aquas and I know I had white somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. And lace. Look at
look at the color. This is natural aging now. Okay, I just want to see if it cares. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you how I put pages together in the next video when I go outside. Love this. Love creams and ivories overlaying them. So I'm going to stitch, tear, tear some pieces, lay them on top. Stitch them together, or baste them, sorry, baste them together outside today. And look at this piece. This appears to be a canvas piece, and it's large. So this is definitely, I'm going to use this for, for, for journals because it's nice and thick. Sometimes it tears, sometimes it doesn't tear, but because it's nice and thick, it'll be good for my journal, either the insides, oh gosh, antique on the outside and this on the inside. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Lisa, for this beautiful happy mail. I love every single piece that you put in here, every single piece. And we are going to be going outside shortly and using these outside. I want to grab the little bits of things and stuff that I purchased yesterday. Treasure hunt of stitches. I'm still st stitching and I'm using the uh, back stitch. I tried the outline stitch and it just, I'm not, I don't do lettering lots. And so my lettering, I had to rip the T three times because I just didn't like the way it looked. But that's back stitch and I'm happy with that. So I want to show you what I got. I am so happy with these threads that I got. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be experimenting, not only with stitches, with threads. So I'm balancing this on my lap. And look at this. I went to a uh, the fiber the fiber something. It's a store in Edmonton that sells yarns. So this is wool. This is actually wool. Merino wool. 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. These two things, balls, were $16.99. So think out of the box when you go looking for, for threads. It's not only embroidery floss or, um, or sewing machine thread or what have you. Look at the colors in this. So my um, treasure hunt of stitches... I, I don't want to pull this out, but I'm going to be, I have, so variegated, variegated, let's take one of these off. Okay, we have variegated, variegated fuchsias and pinks. Oh, if you could feel it, it's so soft because it's wool. Yes, I'm going to stitch with wool. It's thin, like the pearl cotton, but I got variegated mauves and purples and violets and as I progress here variegated maybe evergreen and teal then sage and lime my beautiful honey yellow that I love purples some sages and violets so this is going to be just look at the colors just absolutely look at the colors. I think that is stunning. So I have that. I'm going to save this for journals. Just look at that. Gorgeous. And then I found these. Okay, there's two of each. So like I said, wool thread. And it is, this is, I think, thinner. What is this? This is uh, pearl cotton. So cotton doesn't give. It's firm. Wool is soft. This is wool. It's wool thread. And it, I don't have a make or anything. It was just in the fabric store. I said the wrong thing. In the yarn store. So and it's furry. 
very slightly furry. So I can't take, uh, say, 36 inches. I can only take maybe 18 inches or something when I do it. So look at the colors. So I have, okay, so I got white, light. So I got two of each. So let me, can I differentiate color? So this is light, medium, and dark. I like to buy three different shades because I do encrusted stitching. So I'm going to be stitching on this too. When I stitch on my pages, I'm going to bring you along for the ride. I'm going to turn on the camera. So look, oopsie. So look at these grays on the back of that. And then let's pull in this thing here. You wait till I show you how to do the pages on the edges of that. OMG. It's dropped behind here. I bought this as well. This is a hank or a skein of, it's called, the brand is Gusto Wool. It is, there's lots here. There's 440 yards. Okay. Okay. I thought it was merino wool. Oh, here it is. Yes, 80% merino wool. It's a sock weight, so it's thin, and 20% nylon. So is that what the same as that is? Yes, it is. Look at that. Okay, so when you open this skein, this is the last one on the rack. Oh, shoot, I'm a real. Get this up here. Put that to the side. When you open this skein... Okay, look at this. So I'll have, here, let's move this up like that. Move these guys up. Lisa gave me those scissors as well. Where are my new scissors? Oh God, I lost them. Sorry, Lisa, I lost my scissors. Headache medicine is... Oh, for God's sakes. I don't know what I did with them. I can't remember. It's been like two seconds and I can't remember. Okay, let's just leave this over here. I wanted to show you this. Look at this, this skein. So I have, it's, it's a long length. So look at the camera. I mean, you see how one side is variegated and one side is gray. I've never seen a skein like this. So I'm going to be using this as thread to stitch with the beautiful, it's like a, it's dyed. So it's, I'm going to say very slightly variegated in shade. Whereas if these are, well, those are slightly variegated as well. Is that going to be at the darkest? It's just a little thicker. So bottom line, what I'm trying to tell you with this headache medicine, I can stitch with this gray and look at how much wool I have to stitch with. And look at this. I'm going to use this for greenery. I'm using that as greenery. And when I add in this turquoise for the greenery, look at how nice that looks. That is just gorgeous. And this green, it has both shades in there. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that blends. And I that 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 does not have orange. Okay, let's pick the yellow because I have honey yellow. Honey, honey yellow. Look at how nice that will look. And these, well, of course, ecru. I have to include the ecru. And then we have the light coral. And then we have the darker coral. Look at this. Look at this rainbow. Just and Think outside the box. Pearl cotton, embroidery floss, wool threads, and I gotta show you this. Look what I got at Value Village for $2.99. Look at this big monstrous ball. I have different different, different. Where are we here? Okay. This is just a box of pinks that I have put together. Uh, what I want to show you, very, where's Very Velvet? Very Velvet. 
Okay, that's one of these guys. Very velvet. I'm using this for stitching as well. Very velvet. And this is Angora. Angora. Okay, why am I showing you this? Because this very velvet, th these are very expensive. You can buy these on Sue Spargo's website. And I don't know if this is like $5 or something just for that little bit like this. This is $3. Look at how much. Look at how much I have. And look at the velvet. Let's open this. I'm going to save this for you. Oh, how can I open this? Oh, shoot, Mom. Okay, forget that. Look at this. Okay, so this is what I bought. Where's where's an end? Okay, look at this. Can you imagine some flowers? Just some basic stitches with this? Or some wings on a bee? Oh, we're going to do some beautiful stitching with that. So just this, you can buy this type of yarn. We have a Michaels here, and you can buy this sort of yarn. It's, I don't know the name of it, but it is like a velour. As they call this one very velvet, which is really thin. Yes, it's velvety, but look at this. This is really velvety. So... These are the things that I'm going to use. And thank you so much, Lisa. Look at this. Look at Lisa's stuff, how they all match. And what I'm going to do with my treasure hunt of stitches. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. And I'm going to gather up my supplies and go outside and start hand-stitching my pieces together. And I'll show you how I do that. Thank you, Lisa. And I better look for those scissors, which I laid down somewhere and can't find. <laughs> Thank you. Bye for now.